Last year, the project went really into the unknown. The longest line that I've ever tried was like 150 meters, and up there we tried 540 meters. When I crossed the line, I fell like 80 times, so I was super happy to even be able to do a few steps. It's really exposed up there, so if a thunderstorm comes, you have like no chance. New situation. <laughs> um, the line is down. No clue why. Yeah, time for a beer. <laughs> <laughs> These were unforgettable days. Just because of thunderstorm, not to do it again would be like giving up. So I really want to be back again and just close the circle, complete that project. We are in the storage room of Selectivity. I founded Selectivity about six years ago with Tobias and we are still a super good team. I think we're equipped now, it's perfect. It's gonna be long enough for the Kurfürsten. It was a bit of development to get this webbing like we wanted it to have. And finally it's here, so time to start a project. to the people who go to the campground. It's so much gear to carry around, but it makes you stronger. We were scared that the same thing as last year would happen and we really didn't want to step on a line that might have been struck by lightning. We didn't want to risk our lives. The most important part is really to have an awesome team that works together well. As a single person, it's not possible to rig such a line. Slacklining is really a team sport and we had like 20 people helping to rig that line. No, no, mister, five more pulls, we can do it! One. to try to be relaxed while walking. You can't just be in an alert mode for more than an hour. You have to calm down, drift away in your mind. From the end, I was already thinking that I almost had the line, but I lost concentration and I fell. We had kind of a déjà vu, a bad weather front arrived. We had to act really fast. We had only a few hours to session the line and then we had to take the line down again.
right now there is no slackline up. We just wait for better weather to then re-pull the slackline in. Like this we can really be sure when we go on the line that we don't risk our lives. Okay, I'm just <laughs> 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 I'm in love with the cup. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in love. I need princess power. That's the point. But not today. Not today. Tomorrow, tomorrow I need princess power. It's gonna be fun. The good weather came back and I didn't have a lot of time left. One or two tries this one successful walk without falling. This had to be the try that I walk it through. It was just a lot more than I expected to achieve with highlining. I never thought about being on the line, but I just looked at the videos and I was like, oh fuck, <laughs> I'm never gonna do a step on it. You're just in the middle of nowhere with two and a half centimeters on your feet. You're standing on nothing. <laughs> I had sunglasses on, I didn't know the sun was going down. Everything was getting dark. <laughs> it was definitely surreal with the sun. The most beautiful Highland walk I ever did. <laughs> <laughs>